Hi guys, Wilberfast here with yet another 48 hour game development time lapse. This one is from the game dev party in Lyon, which I went to with the artist I'm working with on the 7 day roguelike challenge. Or rather was, because the 7 day roguelike is now over of course. We didn't even finish for May for the one game a month, so that's a bit unfortunate. Luckily though, this game will serve as my game for May, and hopefully we'll be able to hand in the roguelike in April. Originally I was going to be working on my own game. Uh, we had a round of pitching uh, of ideas. I pitched an idea where the player would control a sort of vampire who would need to suck blood and hide from the Inquisition and do all sorts of vampire style things. And I got quite a few votes, but when it came time to actually form groups, no one wanted to work on my idea. So, well, it's a bit disappointing, but it's a lot better than uh, most times when I don't even get voted in. So anyway, I ended up working on someone else's idea, which was a pretty awesome idea as well. Some little demon is banished from hell for being too nice and sent to Care Bear Land to be hugged to death because, as we all know, demons are allergic to hugs. The game was originally meant to be a sort of top-down brawler from a Binding of Isaac sort of perspective, but the artists didn't want to draw things from a top-down perspective, it's a lot more difficult. Funnily enough, we actually had the same problem come up with our roguelike which has ended up being a sort of platform shooter roguelike rather than a top-down, squad-based, turn-based, well, weird hybrid game. And this again is, is because it's far easier to draw things from a side view perspective. I think the reason why in indie gaming we see so many platformers has got less to do with sort of creative bankruptcy and more to do with the fact that it's just a lot easier to draw things from a side view perspective. So the technology used here is Love, Love 2D, which is a Lua based game engine. Lua thankfully resembles JavaScript quite a lot, but apparently is a lot quicker. It does seem to be the case if you use the various optimizations that Love gives you. Of course, you can't embed it in a browser, which is a slight disadvantage, but never mind. So I actually only started learning Lua very, very recently. We started at the beginning of the 7-Day Roguelike. Kevin, who is the third member of the 7-Day Roguelike team I'm working with, and also one of the people who was on my team for the Global Game Jam, where we were using uh, HTML5, is a very experienced Lua Love user for Ludum Dares especially. And so he taught me, and, and at this jam in Lyon, I ended up being the sort of lead programmer, bizarrely, and teaching everyone else how to use a language I barely knew. Anyway, the jam as a whole went really well. We had eight people in total. Uh, four programmers and four artists. I'm worried that with such a large group we'd have organisational problems, but in the end things went quite nicely. The guy with the original idea was project lead and coordinated everyone. We had the most experienced artists of the four serving as lead artists, and again I served as a lead programmer come uh, Lua teacher, which was actually quite a lot of fun. Anyway, that's all for today. You can pick up the 48-hour build from IndieDB.
and we'll also be releasing the seven day roguelike game uh, soon I hope that's all for now thank you very much for listening and I'll be back soon with hopefully a gameplay video of uh, both these two games